Okay, time for another install and review. I'm going from my, um, uh, at 6 by 9s I did the Rockford Fosgate cutouts, my speaker lids. One of them, I can never really get watertight. I had to use JB Weld on the inside to seal it up. Not a big deal. Kind of messy, but not a big deal. So anyway, sound system's great. I have a 1200-watt uh, four-channel Evo X in the uh, squeezed it into the fairing. I have two Hertz SPL Neo 6.5s six uh, six, 6 in the front. Let me show you. I have two up here, and I have two in the lower, in both lowers. Okay. So I had the two six by nines in the uh, in the rear. And this is the one that had a problem with the leak. Well, anyway, so sounds great, sounds phenomenal. I have a uh, DSR one DSP in there also. Sounds phenomenal. Competition wise, not really, um, but loudest kid on the block, possibly, probably. But being never satisfied, always got to do something to this bike. I decided to go from these standard six by nines in the uh, stock lids to a pair of Ivan Black eight inch speaker lids with the uh, tweeter that I'm gonna have to cut out. Now this is ABS plastic, it's solid. I mean, I mean, I could knock on it here, you can hear it. But it's probably more solid than the actual lid itself that comes stock. So I'm very impressed with the workmanship and craftsmanship of this. Uh, let's see how I get it all together. So going into this, oops, I want to scratch that already. Okay, going into this latest upgrade, going into this latest upgrade, I got the, uh, let me turn it right side up. I got the uh, Hertz SPL Show Neos, the 500 watt, the, uh, it's the SV200 Neos, mid-range speakers nice quality speakers I'll show you when I pull them out to go along with them one of the SPL shows ST35 Neos uh, these are kick-ass tweeters I'm gonna put those in also so that should really upgrade my sound system the Advan black lids all this other stuff comes with the seals tape and their own little tether uh, leather tether leather i don't know what you call it so we're going to take apart the uh, insides of this and uh start to get to work on it let's see how it goes okay there are other videos on how to actually take this apart i don't think i have to show you that um i could but then it's kind of a pain but basically let me just give you a quick view this is the existing neos that are in there so the Rockford cut, uh, Fosgate cutouts. So what's gonna happen here is gotta remove these, these two screws, and a bunch of screws under there. It's not that hard. This whole assembly has to come out and um, put into the new lids. So let me start on that. I'll kind of show you on the way instead of the step-by-step. -step. But basically take these two out and then get to underneath it and uh, we'll move from there. So I'll be back in a minute. All right, I'm gonna actually try to show you some of this. So it may, just in case, save you a little bit of problem. I just took the four, the speaker out, four little screws, that's it. I like to use these little metal dishes from Harbor Freight. They're magnetic and you keep all your stuff together in one little uh, uh, place. You don't lose them, but I like to use these. I have a few of these different ones. So I just took the four, uh, screws out 
Here's the speaker. Again, hurts. Good shape. Anybody wants to buy it, let me know. It'll be for sale soon. Okay, this takes a T15 Torx bit to get these out. If you don't have one of these tools laying around, you're missing out. I love these. They're so easy. Rechargeable. Oops, it helps when you loosen instead of tighten. I recommend taking the speaker out first because it'll reduce the weight on the lid. Okay, now we get from the tether, we get into this. Now, take these two out so I can get the lid off. And once I have the lid off, I'll be able to access it a little bit easier than uh, the way I have it propped up right now. Zip, zip, it is done. Let me get the saddlebag out of the way. Wow, so much lighter without the speaker. Okay, I think my video messed up, but basically took the lid off. So we have basically four screws here we want to take out, then the ones that hold in this bracket here. So we're going to take that out and then move on. Backside comes off, it's scratched up. You have to need a new one of these. Okay, now we have access. Whoops. Now we have access to the screw that holds the handle in. That will remove this. And look at that, same size. I love it. No, guess what? It's not the same size. New Harley would get me. I knew it. Let's see what size it is. Okay. It's going to be a T20. Okay. Now that that's out, should be able to pull this out. There you go. Pops right out. One piece. Voila. Let's put this on the side where I don't step on it. Let's put it over here. Okay, here we have the uh, the Abbey on Black. Again, this is nice and solid. It's uh, ABS plastic, but Perfect match on the color. It's from Advan Black. So what we're going to do now is, before we put that in, I'm going to cut a hole to where the tweeter would go. I need to do that first. And these are the tweeters that I got. Let's open it up. Packaging. Who the hell reads that stuff? It comes with, it comes with two covers, which is nice, because these speaker covers and tweeter covers are expensive. A set for the Advan Black. Uh, I'm sorry, for the 8-inch ones, they're, they're like 200 bucks. Unless you go on Amazon and get it cheaper, and we'll find out if that works. But here's the outer ring and then the uh, protective cover. So. Okay, that's the outer ring screws on. Oh, does this even fit? Yeah, it fits. <laughs> it scared me for a minute. I was like, no! So I have to match up this in here somehow. So, let's open up my uh, hole saw kit. 
And if you don't have one of these, you get them on Amazon for like 20 bucks or something. This one is by Kata. I gotta find one that matches this. Oops. Be careful with that. in here let me shake this loose I'll take a little uh, razor knife just kind of cleaning up the edge a little bit just these shavings just knock them in I mean it doesn't got to be super clean because it's being covered anyway I just want to be flush come on That looks pretty good, actually. I mean, it's not tight yet, but it's a pretty good fit. I mean, I gotta just tighten it up, and then uh, this has to go over it. I think it's just, I don't know how it works, but we'll figure it out when we get to it. I guess this just sits on top of that. Once it comes out, this goes on top of this. Okay, if you actually open up the package, you have these little tools that help to tighten it down. So I'm going to get this in place here and tighten it down with this. Okay, if you actually open up the package, you have these little tools that help to tighten it down. So I'm going to get this in place here and tighten it down with this. See how that works. Much easier. If I had read the instructions, how much easier would it be? But have I ever read instructions in my life? Yeah, for Ikea. It's the only time I've ever read. All right, that shit's tight now. All right, starting a new tradition. Before I finish the speaker, let's see my assistant. <laughs> you gonna help me today or what? What you do is complain. You cry when I when I am not next to you. You don't help me. How come you don't start helping me? How come? Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, this is Django the Wonder Dog, and he does not want to help. All right, people have asked me where my dog is in the video because I have the picture of it. There he is. Let's finish this speaker build here. Let's finish this up. Um, I already... Let me take this back out. Okay. What I, what I did put on camera was... I wired the uh, tweeter. Now, I got these crossover boxes. Now, let me, let me talk about this. I'm an amateur. Complete amateur when it comes to audio. I put three different amps in here. Different speaker configurations. But I had no experience prior to uh, watching videos. And one of the guys I watch is Carlos, Ram Carlos Ramirez at NVS Audio. Has a great series of videos on YouTube. Um, loads of them. All about his builds and wiring rescues. And it's great to learn from him. He actually helped me out on this. And I talked to him briefly. And he recommended these... Oops. The one I just broke. He recommended these custom crossover boxes that he makes for this situation and apparently you can't wire the tweeter just to the speaker because you could blow the tweeters and um, I didn't realize that I never really had tweeters my entire life so uh, these are high quality tweeters but I don't want to blow them so I got these custom crossover boxes from Carlos check them out at MBS audio uh, so I'm put, I just put those in. I wire the crossover box 
to the tweeter. Now this has to go to the speaker. So now I'm ready to put the uh, internal webbing back on. I'm probably just gonna Velcro this in over here. I'll wait till I put the webbing in, so let's do that real quick. So now I'm ready to put the uh, internal webbing back on. I'm probably just gonna Velcro this in over here. I'll wait till I put the webbing in, so let's do that real quick. Let's see if I can get a good. You know, the lighting sucks now because of the freaking generator. Let's see if I can get this going here. Right, that's gonna have to do okay now what the internal webbing remember it slides under and this piece goes on so like so uh, before I do this though I'm going to put the, uh, the handles right there, hold it in place. Okay, you want to get it to where this actually works. So let's get see if I get this started. all the internal connected I'm going to put the uh, cross over here with a vel some velcro I think but let's drop this speaker in and see how that install part goes oh I'm still recording okay I'm gonna try to mark the four holes I mean it doesn't have to be perfectly plus the grill it I will tell you about this I ordered an Amazon one two-piece Oops, extra screw. Come with the screws. It's like 20 bucks, 25 bucks, something like that. I really don't feel like spending $200 for a uh, speaker grill. Sorry. So let's try this. If it doesn't work, I guess I'll get that. Okay. Okay, we're going to tin the wire first before I solder it to the speaker. I almost forgot I gotta install the uh, the rubber seal trim all the way around here. So let's get to that. Okay, it's been a couple of weeks since I started this video and no shade November for my job. It's making me uh, full Kris Kringle mode. Sergeant Claus right here. Uh, okay, let me finish up the Advan Black speaker lids. I put the eight inch um, SPLs in there. So I, I ordered a... Uh, some speaker lids from Amazon. They look cheap. I didn't like them. They were okay, but they were like a matte black. So I tried to order from XBS Customs. They have a really nice speaker. I got to run around for two or three weeks. Never came. They told me another two weeks because I canceled my order. So I ended up ordering the uh, Corey K1 
K-O-R-Y Customs. Um, I forgot the exact model. I'll put it in the uh, in the description. I got them within two days. Ordered to my house like in two days. A little pricey, but uh, they're nice. I'm going to show you those now. I'm going to show you how the sound system sounds. Bikes coming together. Let's take a look. So these are the uh, speaker lids. Tweeters. And the uh, final install. So I got it all wrapped up nice. I got the uh, crossover up here. Dog rode in. Have it all welded. Welded. Have it all soldered in nice. Let's hear how it sounds. I can't crank it too loud because you won't appreciate it, but... favorite song but it sounds good on this so anyway if you if, just to catch up i have a 1200 watt sound digital amp in here i got uh four six uh six by six point five hertz neo spl speakers and the two eight inch spls in the back and the lids now with the hertz 35 uh spl tweeters so that's it bikes coming along like i said and i'll talk about those suicide bars next all right, so anyway, that's it. Any questions on the install or anything like that, just hit me up. Uh, please like and subscribe. I'm gonna shoot another video right now. I got a bunch of videos coming out. Got a bunch, I just have to edit them. So uh, I have a couple more upgrades up and coming, which we'll talk about. Doing the headlights next, gonna be a really good video. And uh, they're in here. More to come.